My name is Nina Tandon. I'm a co-founder and CEO of a small startup called EpiBone, where we take stem cells and grow patient-specific bones that we hope will revolutionize the world of skeletal reconstruction. The metadata symposium, we talked about the clinical trials of the future. Uh, so today I got a chance to present um, not just my own work in tissue engineering and regenerative medicine, but also a little bit of my own personal story of how I got to where I am. You know, tissue engineering, um, our startup, we grow bones from patient stem cells to hopefully help people who need new bones, right? Um, but what's interesting is that our technology isn't yet regulated by the the FDA. And so for, for me, it was really fun to get a chance to um, present in front of an audience. You know, no one, no, there's no better collective knowledge in how clinical trials work than you might imagine than, than that group. And, and really getting a chance to share what we know and what we don't know about what our, the clinical trials for our field will look like going forward. Um, but it was also really fun to get a chance to talk about um, how the, the field of tissue engineering can also help revolutionize um, the world of in vitro bioassays because it's you know three dimensional human tissues are somewhere in between you know cell culture and animal in vivo models. On the one hand, we have this startup where we're growing bones that we're not quite sure what the clinical trials are going to look like for this kind of new type of therapy versus you know um, molecule based therapies of the past. And on the other hand, our field more, broad, more broadly of tissue engineering has um, the potential to really revolutionize in vitro assays. And so it was really fun to get a chance to talk about um, how our, our field's work intersects that of um, clinical trial data on multiple levels. I feel like I learned so much about how clinical trials are run um, and where the bottlenecks are in clinical trials and um, the amount of effort that people put in versus um, the amount that uh, the, the data is affected. I got a chance to really be an audience member and learn a lot from the other presenters. I mean, uh, Glenn and Michelle spoke first about um, the new, their products and um, <clears throat> and thinking ahead about the cloud and how um, consumer products are going to be revolutionizing, you know, mobile health and all of these, um, you know, so, so how consumer products and mobile health are going to be impacting clinical trials. Fascinating, right? And then I got to watch a presentation by Andrea Pfeiffer talking about the, the first um, immunotherapies that are going to be you know, hopefully coming online to help people with Alzheimer's disease. And then we got to all share thoughts after, my, after I presented, um, also with um, an executive from Nestle talking about nutrition and, and feedback between nutrition and um, patient data. Uh, it was a really um, fun chance to exchange ideas about what the future of clinical trials and health are gonna look like for people.